Let's get back into these models. All right, friends, welcome back to another episode of the podcast that accompanies my passion project called No Other Life. And if you heard the bonus episode that um, will precede this in your feed, you learned a few things. Uh, one is that I have a intention to release this series uh, episodes as often as I can, but I'm not accountable to any, you know, advertisers or contracts or anything. I'm just a guy trying to fit this into a, a busy life. Uh, so there has been a little bit of a hiatus, and the bonus episode explained um, some of the weird feelings that I had about that until I realized that what I just said stands true. So if you are subscribed, you'll get it as often as you can, as often as it's released. And um, that's important for me to know that I have told you again. The second bit of housekeeping is that um, following this episode, I will no longer be putting a video feed out there, um, which comes out as also no other life, I think parentheses video. And the reason for that is pretty simple. It seems as though not all podcast apps um, can receive and let you enjoy a video feed anyway. So it often, I think, depending on the app, just was a duplication, uh, therefore more work. Um, and the result was that you were frustrated not seeing video, even though it was in the title and, and so on. But I do still have a camera rolling. It makes it easier to um, edit, interestingly. And it also um, is the perfect medium to chop up and put into social media as clips and I'm also going to put it on YouTube too so if you want to see the camera if you want to see the fashionable novelty t-shirts um, please continue uh, to find me there but I'm assuming that most of you are listening to this and therefore I will be putting more emphasis and effort into the audio itself so uh, let's get into this. Now, it's been a few weeks since you have heard me talking about these models. You know, uh, there was some summary at the beginning of what they were all going to be. And then you have four episodes in a row where two were paired with each other. So there are eight in total. And I think it stands... Uh, it stands as a good idea to give us a reminder of what those are during this episode, which is not a clip show. Uh, you don't need clips because you have the full catalog, if you wish, to remind yourself. But there will be some, um, some material that closely references what we've already talked about, although um, using new mumbled words. So... When I put out those four episodes, I had a reason for the way that I released them. But the way that I think about them in my mind is actually what you would have seen as the second, third, fourth, as the fourth episode. I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? Uh, you don't care. Um, I'm going to be talking about them in non-chronological order according to the podcast releases today. However, these are the ways that I think of them in my mind. So you have the prerequisite model. That's the one uh, most closely associated with traditional academic schooling where you are in a chain of these where you're proving to yourself, proving to an administrative body that you have done all that was required to get you to the next level at some point during a level you determine I'm out, I'm done, and you will not begin another cycle of this model. But in all hope you will begin a lifelong learning uh, which effect effectively I, I was calling the credential model and 
It basically is the lifelong learning. It's the developing of hobbies. It's the decision that you want to start being a world traveler, even though you have never left the country, don't have a passport, and you're pushing 70 years old. So what? That's a new beginning. Do what you want when you want to. Um, it's getting a new license for um, certification or to drive or any of those things. It's it's things that you could put onto a profile page about yourself. Interests, hobbies, habits, etc. And that's called the credential model. Then I would be thinking next, in my mind, of what I refer to as the startup model. And the difference between this and some of the others is that when you begin, your ultimate goal is to try to raise attention enough that you can get out before you've really done everything you could do with it. And so a startup business is really the first thing that would come to your mind, although um, there may be other ways that you could see and experience this. But with a startup business, you, you want to get out into the field and say, hey, this field already exists, but I'm adding some new richness to it. And that might encourage people who are already established to pick you up and say, can we buy that? Or, hey, why don't you come on board here with us? It's really a bit of a, a pivoting stone, if you will. Um, and then we come after that, which was somewhat related to that one, with the model that um, I was calling the pragmatic model. And in the pragmatic model, you realize that efforts, resources, time, talent, treasure, that you have been heretofore putting into some other effort really isn't cutting it. It's not going to continue to be um, effective toward getting you the promotion, the relationship that you seek, the degree that you are seeking, the employment, long-term career prospects that you hope for. All of these things fall under the pragmatic model, and in that, you kind of get ahead of the situation. You recognize sunk costs in the form of time, talent, and treasure. Um, if you follow the no other life philosophy, you take that as life experience. You recognize that your life is better and more fulfilled because of what you have gone through. And, frankly, you recognize the fact that you have changed other people's lives just by your being in there, in their lives. And that's important. Um, my unheated, my unheated uh, recording space is getting quite chilly right now. Um, and then, <laughs> wow, I'm getting cold. Um, where do we land? So that's the pragmatic model. And then the next one that I always think of, although it's the last episode that I did because it was just really hard for me to, to focus and, and think about given things going on in my world, um, are the unwelcome and the survival models. And in the unwelcome, in the unwelcome model, you come to learn that you're not cutting it for someone or some entity out there. So you have put in the effort, um, presumably as best you can, to maintain a relationship with a person or an employer, uh, perhaps some organization or anything else, and you come to realize that what you have been doing was insufficient to meet their desires for you, and you move on. Um, but uh, as a contrast to that, we had something that was called the survival model. And in the survival model, you anticipate 
that unwelcome model's arrival. And so you kind of say, oh, um, if they, quote, they don't want me, then I don't want them. And you make the first move. And that may ultimately have a similar effect on your day-to-day living. Um, But you ultimately might feel a little bit more empowered as a result of it. And so that's, that's why that one may be a temptation to you if you determine that you are about to be made unwelcome. And the first ones uh, that I discussed in the episode uh, chronology um, are the last ones that I think about when I'm picturing these eight. And the reason that I gave them first was because the term new beginning itself, in a way, uh, for many people, I suspect, rings as the, quote, epiphany model. And in the epiphany model, you, unlike the pragmatic model where you realized that something you were trying to do was not cutting it toward a final goal, here you realize that something you're doing is not fulfilling. And so you could continue to do it indefinitely if we think about an unfulfilling career an unfulfilling marriage. Uh, There are people who continue doing them by rote and out of habit for decades. Um, And they may be doing that with a very good intention or to fulfill some other need in their life. But they may also realize that this unfulfillment could be remedied. It could... Uh, lead to something more pleasing in their life. And the people whom they hold dear need to hear this news. And it, in a way, becomes an ultimatum at times for those whom they hold dear. And so those people, kind of two degrees away from the realization, are going to go through something called a unity model or the challenge of unity because if it's um, if it's an unfulfilled relationship, that other person is on the receiving end of being told they're unwelcome. Um, if it's a lack of fulfillment in a job, well, you have every right in the world to begin a new career, but what if that one um, is elsewhere and you already laid down roots with a partner, a family? They need to either come with you or be in a completely different relationship with you, long-term or some other creation. Let's say that your epiphany involves a job that requires more school than you have in your resume, well, then you're going to need to enter into a prerequisite model. Um, It might mean that you have exactly the right degree, but you don't have the certification you need, so you need to enter into a credential model. It may be that your epiphany leads you to want to start your own endeavor, startup. But as you go through that startup, you may find that the thing that had not been fulfilling was actually more stable and more comfortable for you and your way of living than the wiles of the startup life. And so you come to a pragmatic decision that it is time to move on. So you see how each and every one of these in a way, fits in with the others. And that's where we're going to be starting when we begin our next episode, because when you are in a period like this, um, where you're experiencing new beginnings, 
you need to know what to do beyond that. And that's something, you know, the, as with any textbook, there's a lot of vocabulary up front. As with any documentary or instructional video, you need to learn the common language first. And that's why those first four episodes uh, may have felt dry at times. But now, just in saying, the epiphany could have an unwelcome, it could have a unity, it could have a prerequisite, all built in. Then you start to see, well, we have common language, we can go further with this. So in the next episode, we're going to learn what ties that all together, because all that I have said so far about New Beginnings, and I've said it quite consistently and regularly, is that a new beginning is a period or a point in time without a duration in which your focus changes from something that was already in production into something else that is about to begin. And that's all we know. So in describing these models, we're really talking about um, a lot of um, abstract concepts about that point in time. And I mentioned way back in the first iteration of this series, I can't remember if it was the first episode or not, um, that when you are thinking about these changes, uh, you could begin to think of them as a bit of a matrix where you have concepts lined up in vertical and, you know, very in columns and rows or something, if that helps you to think about um, elements for each, like, did you come to this yourself? Did someone come to it for you? Are you happy about it? Are you miserable about it? Does it affect only you or does it affect other people? And you can start to kind of put check marks in all of the intersecting cells and begin to see how these each are different and similar. But in lieu of doing that, what we really find is precisely that, that they are different and they are similar all at the same time. And what these different models basically tell us is how we got to something and then what we're going to do about it. But we need more vocabulary, and that's coming up. So stay tuned, subscribe, do what you can to make sure you hear every word of this series. Wear a sweatshirt next time because I am shivering right now. I gotta take care of myself, so take care of yourself, because we have no other life.